<laughs> Hi, internets. Is there is there is there more than one internet, sir, Boogie? Oh yeah, there's the deep web, and there's the even deeper web, and then there's the the, the upper web. There's the side webs. There's Charlotte's <laughs> web. It's all kinds of webs. Well, there's the black web too, right? Because right, there's a the, black market web. Right. There's the Tor network. Uh huh. Then the onion. The onion. Then, I don't know. Is there? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> there's that Francis network. That's just people swearing. Oh. Yeah. Is that what that is? That's the Swearnet. That's what we call it. Oh, it's called Swearnet. Yeah, that's that's the Trailer Park Boys. That's not that. Oh. Uh, well, damn. Yeah. What's up, man? <laughs> not much. Hey, everybody. Ziggy here from Ideas of Bulletproof hey. Studios Network here at Retropalooza 3. I'm currently here with Boogie. And we're making internets. Yeah, we're, I guess we're, we're making, making internets. People. We're playing video games. Playing video games. I love that. Hey, not just any video games, though. Retro video games. Retro video games, like the original E.T. Yeah. Which is the worst game I've ever played. I'll be honest with you, I've never played it. Don't. That's don't. my best advice. Okay. So for all of you out there, don't, don't play it. Apparently it sucks. We'll take it from the professional here. I don't I don't have a clue. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I, primarily as a kid, I just played Super Mario Brothers. I've played a couple of the Star Wars games, but other than that... See, that's the problem. You, when you were a kid, I was a middle, like, middle-aged adult, right? <laughs> and all because I'm ancient, so... The first games that I played were the original Atari games, which were the impressionist age of video games if you never played them. I played Atari too. So when you guys talk about retro, that you're talking NES, you're talking SNES, that's like modern day to me still. You know, because when you start getting old, you start missing out on stuff. Games that came out for the NES, there's still games for the NES that keep thinking, it's that new game I haven't played yet. Right. I know it was 30 years ago, but still, I'm old. I don't think you're that old. I'm real old. I'm 41, man. I'm 25. Video game terms, that's ancient. I'm 25. It's not own, bad. I own um, magic cards as old as you. Oh, that's that's yeah. bad. That's bad. I'm kind of scared now. Yeah. <laughs> same, man. So, okay. For our viewers out there that don't know who you are, right. you're Boogie. Right. I make internets. And you make internets. Yeah. You might know me better as my character... Um, Francis, who speaks with a list, who gets really bad, and he breaks stuff, and he throws craps at your camera. <laughs> Does that. That's funny. Yeah. I, I like try. It. Well, something I thought was really cool about Francis is Francis actually came out in the panel today. Oh, yeah. That was funny. Well, I mean, that's... Here's the thing. A lot of people think, Boogie, you're an actually really calm dude. The Francis character is, is not you. No, that's me. I'm pretty much angry all the time at video games. I'm playing Mario for the first time in Age of Eleven, you know, the original Mario Brothers. I'm playing World 8-1, and uh, it's a terribly unfair level if you haven't played yeah, it. Yeah, no, it is. And I start swearing for the first time in my life. Like, I've heard swear words, uh -huh. but I never put them together. But right there in that moment, I said, great balls of shit fuck, and I've never been able to stop since. And uh, video games just really make me angry. I don't know what it is. But it's a good kind of angry, you know? I was about to say, I mean, you play video games for practically a living. I mean, oh yeah. I, I would hope you still get to have some fun with it. Well, one of the problems is actually when you're playing video games for a living, you have to separate between the video game time that's work and the video game time that's play, right? And so, like, I'll work for, like, I'll stream a video game for two hours on Twitch, right? Then I'll, I'll make a video talking about that game or different games, and then I'll think to myself, man, I need to go relax. So I'll go to the living room and sit down and play video games. And I'm like, what is my life? <laughs> why, is this, <laughs> why is this what I've chosen? But it's a good life. Right? Like some games, like I set aside, like this is the game that I'm going to play in my free time. This is the game I'm going to stream. I'm going to stream H1Z1. I'm going to play Batman Arkham Knight on my PlayStation with no one watching. And it's super relaxing. Yeah. Hey, if it works, it works. So how many hours a week do you generally put into playing video games? I mean, in general. I mean, not just separating it from work and fun, but like, in general. Well, I stream about 10 or 15 hours a week of games, minimal. Then I try to relax by playing another um, 10 or 15 hours a week. Um, and then the rest of it's video editing and scripting and writing and things along that line. So then about one day a week, me and my friends get together to try and uh, do something that's not video game related, so we'll try to like do a magic draft or 
play some board games and my my wife makes a delicious dinner and we just all <laughs> hang out and and do that and that's the one day a week that i try not to play video games lately it's been all smash brothers and mario maker that night mm -hmm. We still fit in a magic cube draft every once in a while, though. Heck yeah! I mean, what what what's what's a fun night out with the friends if if you can't do a magic draft? Right, that's what I'm saying. I mean, 20 years of that game, I'm still addicted. Still to this it's, day. It is very addicting. <laughs> um, so, is that God? Attention, Retro Palooza! I am God. You are our sinners. You are going to the deepest level of hell. Please play Mario Maker. <laughs> yes, God. Is God or Satan or... I don't know. I'm kind of scared now. Is that yeah. seriously God? I, for one, welcome our new booming voice um, uh, overlords. So, okay, whatever they want me to do, I, I will do it. All right. All right. So, on a note of Francis, yeah. for those of my viewers that don't know who Francis is, can we can we a sneak peek of Francis? Uh, like I said, man, I, I, I don't I do not do that just because you asked me to do it, okay? Like, I gotta, it's got to be genuine. i got to be angry about something, okay? i got to be angry about your stupid rooster teeth hat. i got to get angry at, like, what, what is all this about? Like, well, you're wearing buttons? What is this about? Is it 1990? Are you a London punk now? Is that what's going on? Okay? Like, I can't just do it on the cuff. Like, I don't, and I don't want to either. I'm not just going to pretend to be mad to get views on the internet. Get it out of my face. <laughs> oh, man. For those of you guys that missed the panel, that was great. Francis came out, blew up about parking and the hotel room, trying to get to the hotel, and the ballpark, the AT&T Stadium. Why, is it was, why, why are sporting events like that, okay? Like, here's the thing, watch them from home, idiots, okay? You don't have to drive there, you don't have to set out in the sun, you don't have to go to the AT&T ballpark. I'm in the AT&T ballpark, look at me. I'm the best guy in the world. I paid $800 to sit in the front row with sweat so I could see it about half as well as I could on my 70-inch flat screen at home. Go home and watch it there, God damn it! <laughs> Get out of my way, I'm trying to play video games. <laughs> I have a quick question though. If you're trying to play video games on the flat screen at home, then how would he, how, it wouldn't be easy to watch the picture sports? Picture picture. Okay. Picture picture picture. And picture. Okay, too they don't do that feature anymore. Why don't they do that? You can play video games, right? Right. Right. Get a couple televisions. That's the, that's the, they want you to buy more televisions, right? <laughs> right. That's we, the we, had show. Kept, we had 25 inch screens like this that weighed 800 pounds. We had picture in a picture. Now I got 900 foot curved televisions. I can't get picture in a picture in a fucking day. Get put a picture in a picture, okay? You got 9,000 inches in real estate, okay? You can put 27 Mario games up there. Let me put two. That was three, too. I did three. I said two, <laughs> but I did three. <laughs> so that's really funny. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, God. Okay, so for those that don't know where to find you, where do they find you? At www. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was on Twitch. <laughs> I thought I was doing that. 7-Eleven was a part-time job. Kappa one two three. Kappa one two three. Um, you can find me at uh, youtubecom slash boogie 2988 That's the numbers. He's gonna put it in the description yeah, box at the bottom the of the screen. All that stuff too. Uh, Twitch.tv slash boogie two nine eight eight, where you can see me relentlessly troll the living shit out of H one Z one players. Uh, Twitter.com slash Boogie2988 if you want to hear my psycho pseudo liberal views about bullshit. That's another place. Twitter.com slash Boogie2988. And uh, that's pretty much it. All right. Now, okay, I've been told you've done a little bit of periscoping before, right? Oh, I do. Yeah, I've been enjoying periscope. So the time frame that I heard that you've done periscoping it involved your wife? And you were trying to wake her up? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Share us that little story really quick. In, I have walked in. My wife's a deep sleeper. Everybody's always like, aren't you going to wake her up with the Francis videos? Well, the answer is no, I'm, I'm not. And we put a couple fans in the room so there's like some white noise or whatever. But it doesn't matter because you can wake her up in the middle of anything. It doesn't matter. So I have walked into the room while periscoping at 3 o'clock in the morning and went, hey, Des, are you awake? She's like, nope. And I <laughs> leave the room and periscope thought that was hysterical. You know, I mean, they couldn't see anything. It's pitch black in there. But hey, honey, are you awake? Nope. <laughs> All right. Love you, honey. Wait, was it? Was I'm guessing she said nope because you were periscoping. No, she had no clue. What oh, I was she talking. had no clue. Right, she's just like she just wants to go the hell to back sleep. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the other thing I used to do to her 
um, because I thought it was so fascinating how deeply she slept, I would wake her up in the middle of the night and give her a keyword, right? And I'd be like, honey, I will buy your lunch tomorrow. I will give you $20 to buy your lunch tomorrow if you can remember this keyword, banana. And she'd be like, all right, don't care, sleeping, right? And then she would wake up the next morning and I'd be like, hey, honey, do you remember that keyword? And she'd be like, nope. She'd be eating a banana for breakfast. She'd go, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so you don't have to worry. She's fine. She sleeps right through it. She does get woken up. She doesn't remember it. Okay, if the keyword's banana, I'm curious if you were to use the keyword as grapes, if she would be eating the grapes that next morning. It's a subconscious thing now. Oh, my God. Like, that would be oh so trippy. God. Like, if you said the keyword is banana, she ate a banana when she got up because you said banana. I want to say something really dirty right here, but I don't want to do it because I don't want to go in your interview. But there's so there's you set me up so good here. <laughs> like the keyword is. <laughs> She's literally right there behind the camera. I'm in so much trouble. I'm in so much trouble. I'm so sorry. She's my ride home. I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? There's a beautiful thing. It's called Premiere. Oh yeah. <laughs> this, we can add this to the blooper reel. We can get an Uber around here. We get to get home. Yeah. You're, you're not on my ride. Well, I'm an Uber. It's your fault. I'm an Uber. Yeah. Wait, right. which way? You, you're, going to, you're going to Arkansas, right? I'm going to your mom's house. <laughs> you're going to my mom's house. Yeah. Well, my mom lives in Nebraska, so. Hey, she's got the new Mario Maker. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry if you see this. <laughs> I'm not. Hey, that's fine. You don't have to be, but I have to be. All right. She's my mom. Yeah. Well, I mean, kind of. Ki what? I'm your dad. Son. Help! I love that. Right, the interview's <laughs> over. I think that ended it. I'm gonna go apologize to my wife. So sorry.